hey guys so i'm bringing you a new video finally and today i decided to try out the new fenty um foundation powder foundation and i have a few other things that i'll try out in the other videos um but i literally just got the package and i'm so excited yay so um i really want to do this because i know a lot of people struggle with hyperpigmentation specifically african-american women and i really wanted to try this out on uh, like extreme hyper pigmented skin um to show you how this really works and if it does really cover like it says it does so um without further ado i'm gonna open it up and let's get right into this video okay so since this is a powder foundation um, I heard it was recommended to start off with your concealer first. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 385. I normally use 380, but so this is the first time I'm trying 385. So let's see how it looks. And I'm just going to conceal under the eyes. And that's all I'm going to do because I want this to be a natural look. Oh, let me do the TikTok hack. I definitely already like spread it too much for the TikTok hack, but yeah, we'll see. So I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that out. Let me mention that my colors in the Fenty foundation, the, the soft matte pro filter foundation, I am 420 that's my normal shade um but in the summer i can use 430 but honestly i, I don't think i really need 430 because 430 is just really red on me and i'm really neutral with golden undertones so yeah 420 is my shade in the soft matte pro filter foundation and then um i also do the hydrating foundation in 420 as well and that matches me actually extremely well so, in case you all were wondering if you needed a skin match, um, hopefully I helped you out. That's about as blended as it's going to get. I honestly could add 390, which I'm thinking about it, but I'll just leave it how it is for now. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so here's the packaging for the um, powder foundation. And I'm just gonna open it. I got the shade 410. Y'all probably can't see it, but so let's open it up and see what's popping. So yes, I did watch a lot of reviews on this and I saw that people usually had to get a shade lighter um, because the powder does come, go on um, a lot darker than it looks in the palette. So hopefully this is my match because if it's not, well, not quite sure what we're going to do all right so here is the packaging so cute and you know chic and here is how it looks hopefully you can see that this does look a little um, red hopefully it doesn't come off that way and then of course it has the mirror on the bottom and a sponge which I'm not going to use the sponge because we're gonna be here all day if I use that all right so I'm a little nervous I'm a little nervous I'm not gonna lie so I'm actually going to go in with um, a little 390 concealer because this is looking a little too um, cool tone on me so I'm just gonna take this kabuki brush it's a flat brush I don't think it's a kabuki brush but that's what it looks like so um, I'm just going to swirl that in there. Ooh, yeah, I don't think this is the right color. Stephanie looking a little red. I mean, I can work with it, I feel like, but it's looking a little, um, it could be my lighting, honestly. It could be my lighting. I think it does, it might match. But that was pretty good coverage for that one swipe that I did. 
So, ooh, it is messy. It's just really powdery, so I probably shouldn't tap it in that hard. Hopefully it's not on my chair. So, can y'all see that? It covers pretty well. I'm just gonna blend it into my concealer. That's not bad, that's not bad. So here's one side of my face, which you can't really even see like what my, what my actual face color is because I have so much hyperpigmentation. Um, but yeah, this doesn't look bad. It doesn't, it's really matte. So, um, that's what I will say. It is mattifying. I don't know how this is looking on camera, but, uh, and of course the sun wants to go away as soon as I start filming. It covers pretty well. I mean, I'm definitely, I would definitely say this is buildable and I personally don't like um, unless I'm like going to an event that's really um, formal, I normally don't like to cover all of my like everything to make it flawless. I kind of like like my you know natural face to peek through just so it doesn't look like I am wearing makeup that much makeup at least. Oh, I'm actually liking it. I'm not getting it. I was afraid it wasn't my color, but it actually is not bad. It's definitely not on. Oops. It's definitely not right, like exactly my match, but I could probably use it. The first time I ordered, I actually went into Sephora to get this foundation, but they didn't have. The guy told me I was like, he like put 385 on me. And then he he used 390 and he used another color that was like four or five shades down for me and in the store they always be getting me in the store they always like they do like a little patch test he did on my forehead too which was odd but um yeah he did like 385 and it seemed like it blended right into my skin um, but obviously he didn't put a lot so I couldn't really tell so I ended up buying 385 and when I got home the thing was so ashy I was like I don't even know why I got this color because I knew that was too light and that was before I watched like all the um like Jackie Aina that was before I watched her video and um I also watched who else um What's her name? What is her name? I watch Andrea Renee. She's like pretty much my match as well. Um, oh, and Maya. What's her name? Oh, goodness gracious. I literally watch her all the time and I can't. Maya Galore, I think her name is. She also did 410 in this foundation. I think she's a little darker than me, but they oxidize so. I think it pretty much matched her too. This is actually really nice. Like it's making my skin look. I didn't read the description or anything. I don't know. Oh, so the box says medium to full coverage for all light as air flawless filter effect. So yes, I am getting a filter effect for sure. Um, so that's good. Can y'all see? So definitely I'm getting that filter effect that they are saying. And that's pretty much all the description says. So full coverage, light as air, and flawless filter effect. I will say I, it doesn't feel like anything is on my face, so that's good. Um, so that that is true. Um, and the full coverage, um, I would say medium coverage, but you can. It would just take a while to build it up because... Well, that covered pretty good. It will take a while to build up. You just have to kind of keep dabbing into it. But it is a little messy. You can see it's kind of crumbling. And it's like all over my desk here. 
so you have to be really gentle with it um i would try it with a beauty blender but honestly i don't really like beauty blenders especially for um me because i have so much hyperpigmentation that most of the time it just does not give me the full coverage that i need so i'd rather just use a brush that usually does the trick for me and most of the time i honestly don't conceal whenever i put foundation on um but i recently just begun doing that because or began doing that because i'm wearing masks um whenever i wear them i would always get like so much creasing and lines in my face from wearing masks and um I realized that why don't I just conceal because if the foundation is coming off at least the concealer will be underneath for an extra layer you know what I'm saying so yeah and to conceal I just use 420 in um, Fenty and yeah that's about it okay so it looks wonderful um, one thing I will say is it does not match my neck um, it's always my my um, chest I mean my chest is always much lighter than my face obviously because I'm never in the Sun like that I really don't wear um, tank tops out because I have so much hyperpigmentation on my shoulders and my back and everything so I just refrain from just wearing anything that shows that honestly but um I will say I really do like it. I do like it. Um, I would wear this on like an everyday type of thing basis. Um, and like I said, I personally don't like to cover everything like to pretend that I don't have hyperpigmentation. I just like to even out my skin tone because I personally just, I just having an uneven skin tone is what really irritates me um but yeah this is really nice and um it does look natural don't forget your ears um so yeah i was afraid this was gonna be like way way darker or way much red but it actually looks really nice let me do a little selfie to make sure i'm not tripping Yeah, it looks good. I would probably um, do more concealer under my eyes, but I'm not mad at that, y'all. I am not mad. I'm not mad. All right. Well, and to say that I didn't even prime or anything, like I just do my regular um, routine in the morning when I get up. So I didn't really put anything else on my face besides my serum and my SPF. So it's looking pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So let me give y'all one last look. So yeah, that is the Fenty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation on super hyperpigmented skin, and. Honestly, I'm not mad at this at all. Um, I personally haven't used powder since I was like in middle school. So to have this is nice when I don't feel like doing liquid and I don't feel like doing a whole routine. Um, just slap on some concealer and set it with the foundation. And now you also can take, um, I have my Sasha Buttercup Cosmetics powder that I normally set my, my under eye with. so. I'll go ahead and put a little bit of that on there because I didn't really go underneath the eye with the foundation so you can just set to do that and then spray and you're good to go honestly you are good to go I also have the um, Fenty Beauty setting powder in what is this in nutmeg this is really nice I just recently bought that when I got the first um, powder foundation that was too light and I really like it because for so long I didn't have like a powder to set the rest of my face so now that I do my face be, be, be looking snatched now like what was I doing this whole time and I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more foundation 
and call it a day, baby. Call it a day. Okay, so I'm not gonna do, I might do a weird test, but it's already um, almost four o'clock and honestly, since I don't have a ring light, I wouldn't be able to come back and film it at night. So um, maybe I'll try to do it earlier with it when I try the eavesdrop one. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm not really going to, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to do a whole face. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think. Would you go out and buy this? Do you have hyperpigmentation that you really struggle with? Um, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.